Hello Hectugors and welcome back to my channel and today video is all about Arduino, Arduino shields and sensors, all of them. Let's start. As you can see there are a lot of Arduino shields, sensors and other products but in today video I'm gonna show you the most used Arduino products for making DIY projects. Let's start with the Arduino boards. And this Arduino board is Arduino Uno board and it's most used in Arduino projects. It have the chip Atmega 328P chip that have 13 digital outputs and 5 analog inputs is the most used as I said. The second one is this Atmega 2560 or Atmega Arduino Atmega, it have more outputs and inputs, it's a little bit more expensive. For smaller projects you have Arduino, whoa, you have Arduino Pro Mini chip, it, it, it's with the same chip at Mega328 chip, but it doesn't have the USB interface. The second one from the smaller boards is the Arduino Nano chip. It have a USB interface with the same chip at Mega 328P and reset button, 13 digital outputs and inputs plus five or six maybe analog inputs. This is also a good board. It's called ESP. 8266 mod board good one we have Arduino board like this one without soldering you can make projects without soldering using a conductive thread okay as we said because the Arduino Uno is the most used board there are many Arduino shields like this one. This is universal board that you can make your own project and solder the electronic components on the pins and attach it like this. Great. You have a relay, four channel relay shield that you can connect with the Arduino Uno board to control some stuff. You have a joystick shield or call it Fanduino you can make some games okay this shield have an analog joystick and four push switches and my favorite and most used in my project is a LCD 16 by 2 characters shield with push switches that goes directly on the Arduino Uno board. Great. If you start with Arduino, you need to have a USB TTL programmer. This one is cheap, you can get from, from AliExpress or eBay for a couple of dollars. dollars. And for programming that Arduino Pro Mini, you need a USB programmer. Cool stuff. For your projects, you need a universal breadboard like this one. But also you will need a power supply. This board, you can plug in DC input from around 6 volts up to think 20 volts and this guy will reduce the voltage to 5 volts so it, so the so can the Arduino boards can work and this one is made just for the universal board you go like this come on man okay good let's continue with the display beside the 16 by 2 LCD 
this place that is very used in Arduino project. These are OLED displays. This one is 128 pixels by 64 pixels and the smaller one is 128 by 32 pixels. OLED display. I have made many projects with these displays. And check out this 8 by 8 LED dot matrix. Very cool. We have a 7 segment display with four digits and all controlled with the one chip and Arduino. Let's say if you want to make a security system you will need this Arduino keypad that have numbers and letters and you can directly connect to the Arduino board and also the sensor. This sensor is most used and it's called a peer sensor. It have a three pins, positive, negative and out. It's simple as that. With just two components and Arduino board you can make a security system. While we are here, this sensor is an infrared sensor. This is wireless RF model for making some of the security projects. Also you can use an ultrasonic sensor for detecting some movement like this one. This is good. And for making a digital clock you will need a real-time clock model that have DS3231 chip for remembering the time and using the LCD display you can make a great clock project. Okay, not to forget the Bluetooth module for communicating with your smartphone and Arduino board. Analog joystick you can control some DC motors or something else with this device. And if you want to make a rain detecting, you will need this model to detect the rain connected to the Arduino and to be displayed on the display. Soil moisture sensor. If you want to make uh, some project for plants when they need to be watered. Okay. And almost forget, these two are gas sensors. I have also made a couple of projects with this. The first one is MQ9 and the second one is MQ3 for detecting gas. Okay. I hope you like today video demonstration of almost all Arduino gadgets, sensors and shields. Maybe in the future I will make more detailed video for all these Arduino products. Thank you for watching, give a like and share. See ya!